Heading into his junior season, Colin McCabe had never taken a hand off at the varsity level. No, I actually started off playing safety and receiver, and then I moved from safety to outside linebacker, and then junior year I moved from outside linebacker from, uh, from receiver to running back. You know, there was a need at running back. Um, basically, all we had coming back was Jesse Lutz, um, and Jesse does a great job, but you know, you got to get him a break. Um, so we moved Colin there uh, in the off season. But fast forward 13 games, 124 carries, 1,364 yards, 33 touchdowns. And one state championship later, Colin McCabe is one of the best running backs in the state. For sure, yeah. Last year, I think he had like 33 touchdowns. I mean, he's well on his way. He already broke our, our overall rushing touchdown record for the school. So, I mean, yeah, I think Colin's definitely under, not really underrated. I think everyone knows how good he is. He just doesn't really get talked about that much. But, I mean, this year he's definitely getting more coverage like he should because he's just an outstanding player. But this, I mean, to be able to have a kid, like, you know, you can give him the ball eight times and there's a good possibility he's going to have 200 yards and three touchdowns. And, you know, you're always going to have a chance to win. Despite the gaudy numbers, football didn't come easy to McCabe. He had to work for it. But then, uh, you know, right behind, right behind you right now is our weight room. That's where Colin really made the difference. You know, he, he put on a ton of weight. He got more flexible. He got a lot stronger. I mean, he is the epitome of a self-made kid. Working in the gym has continued to pay off for McCabe. This season he is rushing for more yards per carry, more yards per game, and has already scored 14 touchdowns this season while helping the number one team in the state to an 8-0 start, while they make their run at the program's third straight state title. I think we're all very competitive, and so we just want to go out and win, and like the worst feeling in the world is losing. I mean, I know in my, my freshman year, we didn't have the best year, and so we just saw all the older guys and how upset they were with that, and we never wanted to feel that. And in eighth grade, too, when I played in youth, like we, didn't, we never won the state championship whenever I was there. And I mean, it just always stings and it always feels bad losing. It doesn't, for me, and I'm sure for them, it doesn't matter if it's a big game or a small game, like losing never feels good. So we're always very like hardworking and try to prepare as best we can for each game. If the Tigers do plan on winning that elusive third straight title, it will be the running game of McCabe and Billings that helps get them there. Paired together in the backfield, the duo has given the Tigers the most feared running attack in the state. Yeah, I really think when we open up our offense completely and, and I'm running a decent amount and Colin obviously has more carries, but we're sort of close to the same amount, it really gets hard for defenses to figure out what we're doing because I'm always working with him in the backfield with misdirection and stuff. So I think that really confuses teams to have two kids that are you know, pretty much running backs, two running backs back there together. I mean, we're very fortunate like that. You know, we have two great running backs back there. You know, uh, Coach Sagnello pointed out to me last year, he goes, you know, you're really in the single wing. And I'm like, all right, stop. Like, just cut it out. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but, uh, but in a way, he's right. You know, same thing over at Sheehan with, with uh, Bogan and Davis. I mean, you know, you, you, you got your best two running backs in the backfield, and, and you could do so much off of that. And I think that's why we're so difficult to defend right now. Uh, you know, it, it's a great problem to have, um, but it's ending soon. You know, so uh, I'll have to start coaching next year. But but right now I get to snap the ball to arguably our best offensive player, and then he can hand it off to our, you know, one and one a kind of player.